Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned what is refraction. In this lesson we shall learn why refraction occurs. To revise, if we put a pencil in a jar of water and look at the tip of the pencil from the top, it would appear as if the pencil has bent after it entered inside the water. Here is another example of refraction. We have a rectangular glass slab. We pass the light from the one end. As you can see, the light ray goes as a straight line till it hits the glass slab. Then it changes its direction. Then goes straight within the glass slab. Then at the other end of the glass slab, before entering the air, it again changes its direction. This is also an example of refraction of light. But why does the refraction occurs? Light changes its speed when it moves from one medium to another. As for example from water to air or from air to glass. Why? Because each medium has a certain density. If the light enters from medium 1, say water, to medium 2, say air, which is less denser, or you can say rarer, the speed of light increases. This change of speed is the cause of light ray bending, that is the cause of refraction. Vice versa, if the light enters from medium 2, say air, to medium 1, say water, which is denser, the light ray slows down a little. This change of speed also causes light ray to bend a bit and this is the cause of refraction. But which direction does the light ray bend towards? Let us find out. Let us first try to represent this phenomena using a ray diagram. Say a light ray is entering medium 1 to medium 2 at point O on the plane separating the two mediums. We draw a perpendicular line at point O, which is called the normal. Now the speed of light in medium 1 was V1 and its speed would change to V2 as it enters the medium 2. Say, the light from point A is moving from a denser medium like water into a rarer medium like air. Then, at point O, the speed of light would increase and the light would bend away from the normal. If we extend the light backwards as our eyes follows a straight line, then the object will appear to come from point A dash instead of point A. That's why when we look at underwater objects from air, it appears to be shallower. That is higher than it is actually in the water. In the reverse way, say light from point A is moving from rarer medium like air into a denser medium like water. Then at point O the speed of light decreases and the light would bend towards the normal. If we extend the light ray backwards, then the light will appear to come from point A dash instead of A. To revise, when light moves from a denser medium to a rarer medium, the speed of light increases and the light bends away from the normal. When light moves from a rarer medium to a denser medium, the speed of light decreases and the light bends towards the normal. That's all for now. We will learn more about refraction in the next lesson.